easy a target. That was good. Excellent. Sweet. Alright. I'll pop smoke again and we'll Roger kill that. off. Uh, Kilo 1, this is Delta. I uh, request extraction on Green Spike over. So how we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna call off the guys who are... User joined your channel. Well, I'll call off, uh, Gein first, and, uh, cause he's at the wall, pointing at the helicopter when it gets in. Then I'll call off, uh, Hicks and Moeller, cause you guys are standing behind the guys on the corner. And the last guys to get called off will be, uh, Lopez and Don, cause they're crouched at the corner. So they can keep covering down range as long as possible. Okay, hey, Keen, go. Muller, go. Hicks, go. Ah! Up your left key. Yeah, hit the same trouble. <laughs> there you go. Done it. Done. Swing in. All gone. The wall. All in. <laughs> all gone. <laughs> all gone. We're all gone. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> um, that where perfect. we at now? Did you guys get all that? Everyone comfortable with how that works? You bet. Um. Two side rushing, we're not gonna do, but if we did, it would be like if we were put down in between, see the, if you look off to the, you're looking on the external view and you look off to the right there, between the wall and the building, one group would go to the wall, the other group would go to the building, and uh, you just provide cover around the corners. Um, oh, it's left is ropes, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we got <laughs> rapid insertion, which is basically like what we did with the uh, the half arc in the in the LZ. Uh, rapid insertion would be uh, one that we're inserted into a lot a hot landing zone, or with little or no intelligence. Uh. None of us insertion. have a whole lot of intelligence. <laughs> yeah, rapid insertion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you must be if you're <laughs> jumping out of helicopters into war zones. Um, the helicopter basically is never really touches the ground. We, we'd get into a low hover or, or even just very little forward motion, maybe three or four knots and, and down to about uh, one meter and the helicopter's still moving, and you start getting out at that point, it's where you can get out without getting injured. Uh, it's quick and efficient, and it allows the helo to be the least vulnerable. It, it's able to keep some speed, and it's not touched down, so it doesn't have to power up to get out. So it well, can start, as soon as everyone's out, it can start powering up and leaving. Layman's uh, terms, three-step drop, but dodge the tail rotor. Yeah, and then make sure you're prone, or you're uh, flat out. Um, uh, you should, uh, in that case, you gotta stay, got to you're out of the vehicle, of so here. you would say, uh, Rich, uh, wing out, uh, and then just call down, so that we know everyone's out, and then the helo will just be going along the ground, and he'll be able to go before, once he knows everyone's out of the helicopter. Uh, immediate movement to, uh, a protective zone. Uh, t t terrain that offers su sufficient uh, protection for your nor for your zone coverage, and again, uh, in this case, you probably do zone coverage. Uh, that's uh, the compass uh, cardinal compass headings. So, like I said, one's north, and then go clockwise around the compass, where f west is up to west, which is four. Uh, again, constant communication. Call out anything unexpected, enemy contacts, civilian contacts. Uh, also, set and covering. 
once you're done. It can be done in the urban or not urban. Um, if uh, you had a rapid insertion into an urban environment, if you're inserted into a compound, walled area, uh, you go to your direction, and if, uh, if you came upon, and it's a wall, what you do is turn around and look in to where we just uh, got dropped off from, so that uh, you're able to provide coverage inside to the guys. If you're at a, a wall where there's a door, then you'd be guarding that door. Who jumped out? Lopez is going to bed. He's going to bed? Oh, okay. Oh, he's got to go. Oh, okay. Oh, Hicks has got to go. Oh, no. Hicks is still here. <laughs> Lopez. Yep, I'm still here. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Um, I made a mad dash for freedom. Thanks very much for coming out. Appreciate it. Good yep. job, buddy. Good awesome. luck with the rest of it. See ya. Thank Later you. Mate. Left your channel. Uh, if you're if you're getting uh, dropped into an urban environment, you want to use uh, you don't want to be on your scope. So make sure you uh, you uh, select the uh, CQB site, which is above the scope, because you're going to be in close contact, and with your scope, you won't be able to see anybody in the peripheral vision. Um. A non-urban uh, insertion would be uh, rural areas, field, forest, desert. Uh, generally, you're gonna, you may not have anything for cover. You may have trees you can get to, or uh, if you have nothing, then it's like a three-step draw out of the helicopter, and then drop and get your zone coverage and say set covering. If there's a tree another five meters ahead, run to the tree if that's a for your zone and be looking out around the tree for that covering or a rock or whatever so uh, we could just check and Marshall yeah can you put us down can you fit in between that wall and that building? Where I just put a new LZ. Are you doing fast roping? Yeah, now that well, you no, shut the, gonna uh, this, uh, the kilo down. <laughs> gonna try one of these uh, rapid insertions where the oh, helicopters okay. comes in and is still uh, like a, f a meter off the ground doing two or three uh, kilometers an hour. Gotcha. Oh, mate, I'm gonna have to go, mate. So do you want me to uh, drop this rope for you? Oh, you got the rope? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> well, we can do oh, that fast rope. Put it inside so the helicopter. I could jump out on the left-hand side of the helicopter if you want. And just put it on the floor for you. Okay. All right. Well, right on side. Uh, <laughs> Whichever side it puts you. <laughs> Thanks, Keen. No Thanks worries, buddy. Have a good one, Keen. Hey, have fun there, alright? See you, brother. Cool. <laughs> Later, mate. Up, yeah. How you doing? Good job, mate. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Take cheers, care. Dude. See ya. Yeah, Wing, I don't know if you remember, User but disconnected uh, from your channel. when we were on my last uh, training, <laughs> we. We uh, went through the re the rooftop right here on this building. Yeah, <laughs> on the fast ropes. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Moller or er, not Moller, Mara. I'm just gonna do a peek to see if I can get over there. Yeah, see if you can fit between the two. I'm not sure if you can, but if not, if you can fit in between. Uh, actually, it, it doesn't even have to be. This is just an urban one, but we could even do it in a go to the. Uh, you wanted to. I think I could do it. It's going to be tight, though. What do you want me to do with it? Well, actually, you know what would be a better place to do it so we're not rushed and you can fly along in the hover? Uh, if you just find a field that's big enough, so... Or is that a runway just to the uh, west of us? 
No, I think that's a road. Is it a road? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a road. Is it wide enough? If you could fly down it. Because we, what I want you to do is be like one to two meters off the ground and uh, do an only uh, two or three uh, kilometers an hour. This would be interesting. Well, this is what, you know, this is the rapid insertion where you want, you don't want the helicopter actually land because then it, that's where the helicopter is most vulnerable. And if you're, if he's actually landed, it takes more time to spool up and get off the ground. So, that's uh, pretty tight, eh? Oh, 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 oh. Marshall. Yeah, no, that wasn't, that, road. that wasn't where I was talking about. Sorry. If you, uh, if you're heading, ab heading about, uh, where are you going now? You're going north. So it's a heading of about, uh, zero nine zero. On the map, there's this, it looks like a runway. Directly east of us. Oh. You said west <laughs> when yeah, we were over there. No one ever gets directions wrong. <laughs> oh, you! I bet you were looking south. Yeah. <laughs> and you I looked at your shack hood yeah, for the. <laughs> I did, and then I was looking at the map and going, "Oh crap!" I do that all the time too. Orientated north. <laughs> I am not seeing a clearing. Now and we're over it, so yeah, it's all, it should be right underneath us right now. Yeah, so it's an anomaly on the map. Maybe an old one, the older version of Camp Moore. Well, got something. You got a place we can go? Yeah, you go to the AT range. Yeah, yeah. Wide enough open space we can. Uh, do the low, slow hover, hover taxi. So since there's four of us, uh, we'll get. Uh, doesn't matter which way you're going to get it, end up getting out, because we're going to take cardinal points. So uh, Don one, which is going to be north. Roger. Hicks, Hicks two, which is east. Uh, Molar three south. Wing's going to be four west. So once we're on the, we're going to uh, get out. Once the helo's uh, down to a few feet, and uh, in a slow uh, hover taxi, then we're going to uh, get out of the helicopter, and just you take up, go flat, and take up your position in the direction you're supposed to be covering. Ten seconds. Since we can't see the airspeed or anything, you're going to have to let us know when we can go. Go! Hey. Go, go, go! Don set, covering. Wing set, covering. Oh, oh set. <laughs> We're all turned around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Muller is set covering south. <laughs> okay, so... You just gotta remember which point you were given to make sure it doesn't matter which way the helicopter was facing. You look on the shack HUD on the compass and make sure you're po pointing in the direction that you were uh, assigned. Oh, there's our ride. So we'll try, uh, we'll try that one again. So we'll all just get on the helicopter uh, in an orderly boarding. <laughs> Sound like an airline pilot right now. <laughs> What's that? You sounded like an airline pilot right now. <laughs>